there, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and welcome to another classic LEGO Bionicle review. In this episode, we are looking at Takanuva, the Titan version of Takanuva that came out in 2008. This came out during the summertime of 2008. It is a Titan set which costs about $25 at the time of the release. And this is supposed to be Takanuva when he went to Cardanui and had his light drained. As to why he has gotten this tall, I have no idea. He's considered to be the Toa of Twilight in this instance, which actually makes good sense. Also, this piece right here was a bit loose. Now, I have him posed like this because he almost doesn't fit all the way into the set. Alright, so... And he also doesn't work all that well in rotating, as I have just figured out. Alright, so, he uses quite a few recolors, such as the white Tohordika feet pieces. These are a new color for this piece. He also has a couple of the Mari Torin uh, blade pieces that are used for his thumb. And he also has some on his feet. And he also has these white claw pieces, which were also in Tahu and Gorath. Takanuva has a couple of them in white. Also, he is carrying this large weapon piece, which is... Oh, and I noticed that the claw piece on one of his hands fell off, and I didn't notice that. I don't know if it was recorded, but I didn't notice it. Y'all, he has this, uh, weapon piece that uses three of Leewood's blade pieces. Um, uh, real nice. And he's got, well, as you can see, this is how, oh, wait. This is how the construction goes. The usual con connecting the arms in another way, you know, like, like this. He was just one of the first sets to have that sort of feature added to him. He also has the same uh, blaster weapon that came from the Fantoka wave, well, for the Toa anyway, and it contains four of the Xamarin Spear launcher pieces, the ball pieces, so we have them in silver in this set. Back in. And he also, on the shoulders, he's got a couple of Takadox's head pieces. Oh, wait. Takadox's head pieces. I'll take it off to show you. There, you see? It's Takadox. He's got a couple of those on his shoulder pieces. They're used for, well, his shoulder armor. And he also has a lot more of the gun little armor, such as this main uh, body piece, which was also used on some other sets that were released around the same time, such as on the wings of Vital, or Biddle, or however you pronounce his name. And as for the mask, well, this is the new version of the mask. This is the Titan Takanuva Kinohi Aboki, and it's really large compared to the other masks. In fact, without the mask on, his neck looks really skinny. Hold on, let me... Uh, I'll show you in a moment. His neck looks real skinny. So, it doesn't look all that great without the mask on, and it looks great when the mask is on. So, I'm just gonna put it back on. Can you see it? I can't see the camera right now. Okay, it looks like you can see it. Alright. So, this is the Titan version of Takanuba. Such an extremely tall set. It could not fit into the studio. But he is still a pretty nice uh, figure, even though he was pretty hard to review in this episode. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.